più drei farfaloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle turbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle turbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. Today we're at Rizzi's Cafe and Paradiso Pub. I don't know how to pronounce Paradiso. Paradiso, anyway, pizza place. Here to do the pizza challenge. So it's about an 11 pound team pizza challenge. If you win, you get 100 bucks and meal free. And if you don't, you pay about $60 for the pizza and then obviously you don't get 100 bucks. So we're gonna go on in and see what we can do. It should be a lot of fun. There's a team pizza challenge here, Mr. Let's Reno. And uh, yeah, so it should be good, but um, one hour, I think. One hour? One hour, 40 minutes. Big pizza. Let's eat. Everyone, so here we are with the pizza. It is definitely a big pizza at that. So, there's a, quite a crowd here and they all want us to try to beat the record, which is 12 minutes, 58 seconds, held by our man Magic Mitch and Ethan Teske, I believe. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so definitely big pizza. I went with half pineapple, not pineapple, half uh, ham and half green peppers. Random went with spinach and onions. So yeah, that's about it. We do have 45 minutes to complete it. If we do, again, that's kind of our main goal. So, Raina, yeah. ready to get started? Yes, sir. Alrighty. Well, let's get started here. If I get a piece, there you go. All right, so what do you say we start at the count of five, four, three, two, one, let's go. go. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Rizzi's in Arlington, Tennessee. So it's about maybe like 30-ish, 40-ish minutes out of Memphis, so kind of in the Memphis area. I'm here to do their 11 pound team pizza challenge. So really cool pizza challenge and the fact that you get $100 if you do complete it. So definitely nothing wrong with getting some cash. Cash prizes are always a nice treat. Um, two toppings, so I went with two toppings being ham green peppers. Raina went with, I believe it was spinach and onions, something along those lines. Um, but yeah, so no issues splitting it. Um, the way it was cut though, all of our center pieces were like half and half if that makes sense. So even though like it was uh, split straight down the middle with toppings, the cut, like the center pieces were kind of cut diagonally. So there was a little bit of um, kind of, it was, you know, let's just say there's a certain point it was a little hard who was eating what. But I mean nonetheless, it's all good. It's a team pizza challenge and it was tasting good. You can all talk and stuff to you, don't you? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. That, that yeah, would kind of help, not it? We're just amazed how fast it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what kind of time we got going right now? We're at 43 minutes and 55 seconds. Exactly. Yeah. So we're only two minutes in? Yeah, we're only two minutes in. Oh, we're only two minutes we're in? Like, this is a 45 minute challenge? We're not, and really, minutes in. we're not two minutes in? 130. We're, yeah. we're at exactly. one minute and 30 seconds yes. and then that much yeah. is gone? Okay. Exactly. Alright, this 45 minute challenge will not take 45 minutes, of course. Oh my gosh. And nobody's ever picked this. Right? That's okay. We had a record of 12 minutes and 58 seconds. Raina promised me that that was going to disappear as quickly as this pizza. And it appears to be happening right in front of us. The way the toppings uh, cooked out, they made it definitely quite moist, so the center pieces were definitely easy to eat. Um, one side of the pizza was quite a bit more cooked than the other, um, which definitely made eating uh, a little bit more difficult in that regard. Um, definitely a lot more crunchy and crispy, but I mean, overall, I mean, it, I can only imagine how difficult it is to manage such a big pizza in the oven, and overall, of course, they did a very good job. The sauces tasted great, and the flavors were good as well. All right, the first two Two minutes, most of it disappeared. All right, where are we now in time? 42 minutes and 44 seconds. Wow, two and a half. Two minutes, 20 seconds. We're, we're, we're two minutes and 20 seconds in. It was a great crowd and there were some observers and just the staff and even like a little like hype man or kind of like a promotions guy there for the restaurant and uh, they really wanted us to try to beat the record by Magic Mitch and Ethan Teske. So like we said, about 12 and a half, 13 minutes, something along those lines. Um, so we were setting out to do that. Um, this was not the first challenge of the day. I had done a challenge earlier, and so I was feeling pretty dang full, to be honest. Um, but, you know, I was going to do my best regardless. I definitely did not promise to beat the record. Um, I was just hoping to get a completion because, again, we were hoping to chase that $100 cash and, of course, the free pizza. Because, I mean, who doesn't like cash and free pizza? 
And uh, it appears that the pizza has no chance as well. Hi, how are <laughs> there was never a question of whether or not they could do this. They're just trying to beat the record of 12 minutes and 58 seconds. And we're not even five minutes in. So besides giving an extra special thank you to all the staff and everybody who came out to watch, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have to uh, give to you today. So yeah, it was uh, it had a good tasting sauce, um, ingredients seemed good quality, um, definitely, uh, like I said, the way it was, the vegetables cooked out gave us a nice moist inside and pretty yeah that's pretty much about it definitely a bit of a thicker uh, thicker crust on the pizza so if you like that big thick crust you'll definitely enjoy that and on the one side definitely a crispy um, crunchy crust so if you really like that crispy crunchy crust hey I mean I think you'd enjoy that as well if you prefer a softer crust well hey get the other side of the pizza so with that let's get the rest of the video and ultimately let's see what happens four minutes 30 seconds we're four minutes and 30 seconds in okay. yeah. Four minutes and 30 seconds. That means we got 40 minutes left to complete this. <laughs> you think we'll have you think you think we have enough time? <laughs> oh buddy. So eight minutes for the record. Let's see if we beat this record. I don't think the record of Everybody watching this that think you can eat and you want to try this challenge, you're going to take some notes here. <laughs> yes. Six minutes. Six minutes in. Six minutes in. We're six minutes in. Into this 45 minute big pizza challenge here at Ribby's Pizza here in Arlington, Tennessee. Challenge is you have 45 minutes to eat a 28-inch pizza, two toppings. Must finish that in 45 minutes. You win a shirt, you win cash, you get your picture on the wall. What's the time? Uh, They're about seven minutes. They are seven minutes in. Yeah, seven minutes. Uh, I got six. Six six fifty three. No, seven. About seven minutes. Yeah. So if they can finish what's left in under six minutes, our record is gone. Okay. About five and a half. Five and a half, okay. You know, I used to think I could eat. What, what's the time? Uh, 
Eight minutes, 12 seconds. Eight minutes, 12 seconds. Four and a half minutes left. 28 minutes. I think the record of 1258 is going down hard. Yes, yeah. yeah, for other two. <laughs> yeah. I bet everything I have is on. The 1258 was. Yes, yeah. 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 They're not in the same league as these two. No. This is like college versus JV. I kind of like the technique of dipping this piece in the water. <laughs> I probably can eat two slices that way. <laughs> Oh, and I'm done. Yeah. This, this is we bring out the pizza, we bring out the drink of choice. Okay, well, it's time here. You can get up, stand up, stand up, dump around, you can go outside, but you can't. You must keep all your food it's been down. 10 minutes exactly. You can't use the restroom. You must do that before you start. 10 minutes. Okay. Are we 10 minutes in? Nine, nine, nine minutes, 30 seconds. 9.30. Well, she said 10. Actually, okay, she's got 10 over here. This is our official clock over here. Oh, see, I'm counting down. Y'all are counting up. All right. Okay, you're, you're just, yeah, you're, you're at nine and a half minutes. Yeah, you're, 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 you're exact time he has over here. He's right. You're not, 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 Swallow it. Let's wow. see, he, he's done. She's about done. We're at 10 minutes exactly. You can stop it. You can stop it. 10 minutes and 6 seconds. 10 minutes? Wow! Our record is gone. So you guys want some dessert? Great! <laughs> yes, I want some cherry. Hey, hey, God, God. Hey, God, want dessert. Yeah. 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 Hi everyone, so just finished up just over 10 minutes, so we did get a new record. Uh, yeah, so with that, hope you enjoyed the challenge. Glad we get 100 bucks, we get for free. Until next time, you know what to do. Hello! What's up everyone? So, I'm in yellow light. You know why? Because I am in front of the Memphis Barbecue Co. Heard from very trustworthy local sources that this is some of the best barbecue, specifically the best ribs in Memphis. That is right. So guess what we're doing? Memphis, Tennessee. I'm trying my Memphis barbecue for the first time. I'm gonna get some ribs. I ate a lot of food today, so it's just gonna be some ribs. But I gotta try Memphis barbecue. Gotta try some Memphis ribs. And here this is the place. Award winning, world like renowned time and time again. So here we go. And apparently this is like, this is the more like there's a couple places kind of more ish downtown that are kind of more like a tourist trap, but aren't actually like up to the quality of food. But local source, specifically Mr. Brett Healy and a few others, this is a great place. So let's go eat some food. So we got some complimentary pork rinds, which are basically like kind of like potato chips, but that's kind of what they remind me of with the flavoring. But they're pork rinds. And here we go. We got our Memphis ribs. Interesting, it has toast with it, but yeah, ribs. Thank you. So first things first, we're gonna try the sauce. I have a cup of it here. I'm gonna just drink it. Okay. So definitely get some vinegar, but it's very sweet. It, it's not super thick. Definitely get some pepper in there. A little like cayenne pepper, but I call it very tangy. It's, it's a tangy-ish, but not like a vinegar. Mix, kind of like a mix, but on the tangier side. Now we're gonna try some ribs. All right, so you got some baby backs. I cut it right on the bone. So let's see what it looks like. Some sauce, got some uh, rub on it. But anyway, look, just pulled right off the bone. So it looks pretty good. I definitely see some smoke, got some uh, red, see, can see some reds there. Not the best lighting, but along the top, got a good smoke ring. 
Let's just take a bite. Here we go, guys. Memphis barbecue. Really nice texture. The rub on the rib is definitely giving it, like definitely a bit of a, a very a very seasoning taste. This bit on the end of the caramelized sauce. It's good. It's sweet. Definitely have that tenderness of that baby back. It's not overly smoky by any means. But definitely like kind of that. Style. Definitely like a sticky rib. And it's it's good. Not a lot of smoke though. I would expect a little more smoke to it. Definitely a lot of flavor is coming from that rubbing that sauce. Candiness on the bones. That's good. It's definitely different. What do you think? All right, uh, All right. and let's try their beans. So it's a good bean, it's sweet. Good. Nice and soft. Okay. But admittingly, I wouldn't call it too much different than like, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not mind blowing. It's something very similar to like, you get out of a can of bushes. I don't think it is like a bushes beans by any means, but like, It's, it kind of has that gist to it. It's not bad, but it's just, it's not life changing. Okay, so it has more ribs. Then there is a real, there, you can do get some good coloration from that smoke on the outside. And in that bite, I do get a bit more smoke. I'm getting a little bit more smoke in this one. Got some deep red textures on the top of the bone. Again, I know the lighting's not the best, but you see it red. It's just, like admittedly, I'm always biased towards Texas. I like that heavy smoke. One thing I do to give though, the texture is amazing. It's textured, yet it's super soft. It's sweet, it's salty. Fall off the bone. It's like candy. It literally reminds me of like candy on the meat. The way those wet ribs are. The caramelized sugar. Let's not describe it. Barbecue and candy.
The sauce is nice. It is a good pairing. Definitely you dip it in at the strongest flavor you're getting is the sauce, but it is a good pairing. It's good. Anyway, so there you go. Gotta try, got to try some Memphis style barbecue, some Memphis city, Memphis style ribs. Overall, it is very good. Textures are great. On uh, most of the ribs, the smoke was nice. And again, just a lighter smoke. Not a heavy Texas smoke by any means, but again, no, that's with the style. Um, where the sauce is on it, the wet ribs, the caramelization, really, really nice. That's like a candy aspect. So yeah, it's good. Memphis City Barbecue, good chop. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Also, I want you to join the Happy Healthy Hungry family. That's right, guys. Hit that subscribe button right there. Hit that little thing that looks like my face. And then I picked two videos out specifically for you. That's right. I picked out two videos just for you. I know you're going to like them. So real quick, hit one of these right here. This video is going to go away in a couple seconds. So please hit them. Three, two, one. Click one. Let's go.